For more on Afghanistan and what lies ahead, we're joined by Masood Aziz. Up until last year, Mr. Aziz was the second highest ranking diplomat at Afghanistan's embassy in Washington, D.C. Mr. Aziz, thanks for this. Hi, David. Now, we just saw this report saying that there are far fewer Afghan police and army forces than commonly portrayed. So how viable is the U.S. president's plan to start handing over control to them in the next year and a half? I think this is, uh, you know, ramping up the Afghan army, Afghan security forces is extremely important. But we need to be very realistic about our goals, both in terms of the numbers that we want to achieve in the security forces and also in terms of the quality. The numbers are important because we want to know if, if, if those numbers are going to be effective enough to secure some of the areas. But the quality of not only the training, but also something else, the quality of the entire infrastructure of the security forces are important. You know, how they relate to the central government, uh, the esprit de corps of, of, of the military is extremely important, their equipment, and most importantly, in my opinion, more than numbers. Uh, it, it, extremely important is how to sustain this army. It is not going to be sufficient to just reach some numbers and then for the U.S. to start leaving and, and stop their aid because there are estimates that the Afghan security forces at those numbers that, uh, you know, where we have set the goals up, uh, we need about three and a half billion dollars a year to maintain those security forces. Well, Afghanistan's entire national revenue is about a billion, under a billion dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So moving away it, it, it from the cannot, numbers for a second. So moving away from the numbers for a second, from the folks you've been talking to today, how was the president's speech received in Afghanistan itself? Do you think? Uh, I think that it was well received in Afghanistan in many respects. I mean, he addressed um, the he, Afghan people directly, essentially. He did. And not only that, but he certainly said that you know U.S. national security is at stake in Afghanistan and in Pakistan. And he indeed directly addressed the Afghan people, which was critically important. And he explained that uh, the U.S. is not there to occupy uh, the region and, and, and Afghanistan, and he's there to support the Afghan people. That's a critical aspect of the leadership that the president has shown. So I, I fully support and agree with that. He also talked about negotiations with the Taliban and other aspects. And there are two other critical uh, issues that the president brought up that I thought was was extremely important. One is the exit strategy and the fact that the, a military solution is not the ultimate solution. The second one was that success in Afghanistan is linked uh, directly to Pakistan. Briefly, do you think those he talked about Pakistan enough during that speech? Well, I think that on both of those issues, although I was hoping that he would talk about it, he did talk about it, but I thought that the president was short on both of those issues. Masood Aziz, thank you very much. You're welcome.